Weathering With You is a gorgeous Makoto Shinkai film about adolescence in love. For some of you, that's enough, and you can go off and watch the movie now. You're welcome. Like most Shinkai films, the first half moves very slowly as we spend time with the characters to better understand them, and in this case, better understand the setting, and that is where things get interesting. Weathering With You is set in an alternate present in which rain falls almost constantly on Japan, and it's been doing this for at least a decade or so. Without getting into spoilers, the protagonists find a fantastical way around that, which builds into the central tension of the film's climax, what would you sacrifice to stop extreme weather? And predictably, this has led a lot of media outlets to brand Weathering With You as a movie about climate change, which then inevitably politicized the film. But are they right? Now, in a literal dictionary sense, Weathering With You's central conflict does concern itself with long-term extreme weather patterns. This film is about climate, which has changed. But I think it's important to watch our terms here. Climate change is a deeply political term, at least here in the United States, bound up in the idea that climate change is caused by humans who are thus responsible for reverting it. However, Shinkai goes out of his way to establish that the extreme weather in Weathering With You has no clear human cause and has several possible natural explanations, none of which were driven by modern human civilization pumping out chlorofluorocarbons or anything. This movie's weather is not caused by climate change in the modern political sense of the phrase. And wouldn't it be nice if I could just stop there and say, boom, there you have it, it's that simple. However, it's not that simple. While the movie's gorgeously animated weather isn't directly caused by human industrial output, necessarily, the characters are absolutely grappling with the question of what they should do about extreme weather. Should you do whatever it takes to change the climate back, no matter the cost? Now, the following example isn't exactly what happens in the film, but it illustrates the idea. If we could completely revert climate change by, say, killing off a tenth of the human population, should we? It's the film's answer to that question that elevates Weathering With You from a simple Hallmark movie to a work of art. You may disagree with how its characters answer that question, but their answers feel right for them. The film helps you appreciate multiple perspectives on an issue that doesn't have an easy answer. It helps that the staff pour their time into painting gorgeous background art using strong earth tones and soft pastels to establish the grounded realism of the film's setting. This doesn't feel like an idealized version of Tokyo as you sometimes see in other works of anime. This feels like a real lived-in city. The animation helps keep the film realistic as well. Nobody's leaping 20 feet in the air from a standstill, and while there are a few action sequences involving some cool athletic movement, the animation remains natural. There's a naturalism more common to, say, Ghibli movies and other Makoto Shinkai works. Now, I happened to listen to the English dub, and the cast did a great job of keeping the performances relatively grounded as well. Everyone felt like reasonably real people. While the protagonist could get a little screechy at times, he is a teenage boy, after all. Now, remember how at the beginning I said this is an adolescent romance, and for some of you that's enough? Well, okay, I'll admit, that could be handled poorly. Thankfully, Shinkai does a fine job of building up the relationship between the two protagonists, showing us in little moments what each person sees in the other. While, of course, their relationship gets tested to a somewhat extreme degree by the end, I didn't find it ridiculous given that this is a high school romance anime. But this is a video about the weather in Weathering With You. And ultimately, this film isn't really about climate change. It's about hard decisions made about complex issues. It isn't about the weather, it's about people, and that's what made it work so well for me. And it's gorgeous.